sometimes you want to give your images a soft color tint. A quick way of achieving that is by adding a fill layer with the color you want to tint and then apply this fill layer in soft light blend mode. Especially when the fill color is a light color, the effect can be too much. An easy fix would be to open up the blend ranges and lower the effect of the fill layer from the darker areas in the image. Usually this gives nice results and if you still find the effect too much, you can still lower the opacity to around 50% to get a more subtle result. Let's take a look how we can achieve the same effect in a different manner. I'll group the two layers and hide them for the time being. I'll copy the source image and paste it on top of the group. I'm going to add the green fill layer again and just like before I'll put the blend mode to soft light and then adjust the opacity to 50%. We have this very green effect but instead of using the blend ranges I'm going to add a procedural texture filter on top. In the procedural texture dialog let's add an equation and have this apply only to the alpha channel. For the equation we are going to use the average of the R, G and B channels. If all goes well we get this semi-transparent greenish image. Let's group these layers. I'll paste the source image and move it below the transparent group. Excellent, we now have our tinted image. Let's group these layers and compare this with the previous method. As you notice there is no difference with the group below. So in a way the procedural texture acts like a blend range. The main advantage of the method with the procedural texture filter is that it allows for more adjustment options. For example I can add an HSL adjustment on top of the procedural texture and modify the effect. We can even continue by adding more adjustments like brightness and contrast. All these adjustments we add to the group apply to the transparent color graded section which is the reason why we now have more control over it. Pretty cool. Another interesting way to give a soft color look is as follows. I'll make a copy of the source image then add a fill layer with our color. However this time I'll use the negation blend mode. This will create a very bright neon like effect. The darker colors will have the color we have chosen and the highlights will have a contrasting color. I'll add a procedural texture filter again on top of the fill layer and add our average equation again to the alpha channel. Let's group these three layers and set the blend mode to soft light. Pretty awesome. Optionally we can change the formula in the procedural texture filter to minimum instead of average to get a more subtle effect. Hope you liked this video and don't forget to experiment with these techniques. For example in the last method you can add another fill layer in screen blend mode to get a different look. Thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave. Until the next video.